Ladies and gentlemen, the WWE interviews are back, and it's an absolute honor and privilege to welcome Roman Reigns. So Roman, uh, first question, you saw my new subreddit, right? Did you like it? Not to do a play on words, but it was phenomenal. It was. Um... Yeah, yeah, thank you very much for the kind words. Now, me and you are kind of similar, you know? To be honest, when I hear that statement, the majority of me wants to just puke, like, you know, tribal chief, tribal forehead. So honestly, Roman, uh, I'm a big fan, especially lately, but I gotta be honest, man, my favorite wrestler is still Primo. I respect that. Oh, so you're a fan as well? Yeah. I respect him. The uh, level of skill and uh, technique that he has in the ring, if you're not gonna match that, he's gonna beat you, so. Dude. I always thought Primo is so underrated. He's like my favorite and probably he's the greatest wrestler of all time. The guy, the top guy, the king of the mountain. Yeah, man, I honestly watch his matches every single day. Every single day, every single week. Same? I can't turn yeah. this off. Yeah, do you mind if we watch some matches after this interview? Not at all. Awesome, man. So you're down for some Primo appreciation time. As long as I have uh, breath in my lungs, and I wake up in the morning. Amen. So, switching gears, I, I, I always ask uh, hard-hitting questions, as you guys know as well, and uh, there's been some rumors that the push you were getting is because of this relationship between you and Vince McMahon. But I've heard this relationship ended, so for how long you didn't see Vince? For over a year now. And uh, how special this relationship was. We rode together, we ate together, we trained together. We earned money together. We shared the ring together. Okay, and I feel embarrassed, but was this relationship like very special? Like very special. You guys know what I mean? I've heard rumors that you were the one who actually started this relationship. Last time I checked, he snuck up behind me after a 35 minute main event. No, 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 we, we don't need the details. It's, it's fine, Roman. I came back out the next night. The question is, is he ready? Oh, come on, stop. Okay, we're back and uh, me and my viewers have one more question to end this interview and it's, you know, Maybe a bit personal, but if possible, would you reconnect with Vince McMahon? Yeah. And do you think he would go for it? He will. Okay. Thank you for watching. This was the great one. This was the tribal chief, Roman Reigns. Thank you for watching. Welcome to another episode of Reacting to WWE's Reddit. How are you guys doing today? Yes, you heard that. Right, our own subreddit is here. So make sure to join and make memes, uh, do anything related to wrestling and you will be in a video, your meme, your post will be in a video. It's greatness of wrestling. Make sure to join, I'll appreciate that. This way, you can acknowledge me as your tribal forehead and also by clicking that notification button, that really helps. If you want to acknowledge me, which you should, you, you kind of need to, honestly, you kind of need to. This image made my day. I don't know, man. It's so sad seeing all of these wrestlers getting old. It's part of life. I understand. But one day, all of our favorite wrestlers will no longer wrestle. So that's why I don't understand why would people complain about part-timers. Just appreciate it while you can. AJ Styles, The Undertaker. Amen. Finally, someone is ending the stupid meme. Yes, that's AJ Styles, and yes, that's The Undertaker. It was funny for the first week after WrestleMania, and then it got old really quickly, and people are still making this damn meme. It's time to end it on my subreddit. I don't want to see a single AJ Styles and Undertaker meme. At all. Remember when John Cena's biggest wrestling accomplishment was a questionable university qualification? <laughs> <laughs> okay, PhD in Thugonomics, and then you have four-time WWE Champion, United States Champion, two-time WWE Champion. The Big Show is a two-time WWE Champion? How come I don't know that? Just a reminder that this happened. What can I tell you, man? He's just a sexy Kurt, and he likes to 
get wild sometimes in the ring. Uh, I remember seeing this gif of uh, Brock Lesnar and Kurt Angle kissing. But that's how, you know, welcoming uh, our ultimate farmer is, you know. When I go to Brock Lesnar's farm, I'm not, I'm not gonna tell you. Who is the greatest undisputed champion in WWE history? Chris Jericho, Randy Orton, John Cena, or Daniel Bryan? How come I don't see the ultimate farmer Brock Lesnar? He was also the undisputed WWE champion. Okay, let's look at this logically. Chris Jericho's title reign was a pretty bad one because he always looked like a joke. I mean, let's be fair, he was never treated like a big deal and, you know, it didn't really seem like he was the undisputed champion. John Cena, I mean, at this point, no one really cared, right? Daniel Bryan, well, he held these championships for like a month, and Ra it's Randy Orton. Honestly, it's Randy Orton. He held these championships for quite a while, I think, and we had a lot of great, you know, storylines like Randy Orton versus Daniel Bryan, for example, which was probably the only good one, but still. I said nothing to R-Truth, and he blocked me. Ah, man, I'm blocked by R-Truth as well. I'm actually blocked by quite a few wrestlers because back in the day I was a stupid kid and I probably said something stupid. Uh, in case of R-Truth, I got blocked because, well, you know what? I'm gonna talk about that in the next uh, Reddit video. It's gonna be called Wrestlers That Blocked Me. There are quite a few, I think. At least four. Yeah. Why do people say WWE or Vince McMahon never listens? Stuff that happened in one year time span. Roman Reigns is a heel turn, Lashley became WWE Champion, Drew McIntyre, Apollo, Sheamus, he does, he does. Vince always listens to the fans, sometimes listening to the fans, in my opinion at least, is not smart, it doesn't make sense. Why would you watch a wrestling show where you see everything that you want to see? That's the whole point of professional wrestling, you have the good guys, the bad guys, you get mad, you get angry, you get happy. And if we only saw good moments in the WWE, that's just my take on it, we would get bored of it. You know, sometimes I think about this, and moments like, for example, Goldberg defeating The Fiend, yes, it's a stupid booking decision, but it was quite memorable, and... They're playing with your emotions. Maybe it wasn't that bad after all. Maybe this kind of stuff just sometimes needs to happen. But that's just a theory. Not sure. But yes, Vince McMahon listens to the fans because ever since like 2011 especially, we had so many champions that we wouldn't see if it wasn't for Vince McMahon just listening to the fans finally. These two were once WWE World Tag Team Champions. Thank you for your time. Yes. And I really remember this vividly because I was watching WWE on TV. I was like probably eight or nine years old and I thought it was pretty cool. Uh, back then I wasn't the biggest fan of CM Punk, but that was probably when I started to realize how good he is. And one other tag team from Kofi Kingston that is quite underrated and had a pretty okay theme song Airboom, Evan Bourne, and Kofi Kingston. Big Show realizing he didn't turn for a month. Ah, I'm a giant. I'm supposed to be a good giant for a whole month. Ah. Weird. Brock Lesnar is the only professional athlete to appear in three different sports games. NFL, UFC, and WWE. Wow, these nice graphics. And also Farming Simulator. Yeah. Will be very rude if Sami Zayn is not invited to be in Logan's corner. Because Logan Paul is going to have a boxing match against Mayweather. I plan on doing a run in either way. Sami is the best. Sami is the best. Sami is number one. I want to see more of Sami Zayn on my television. As a matter of fact, Money in the Bank is coming soon. You know which to win. Yes, you guessed it. Sami Zayn. Which one was better? Road to WrestleMania SmackDown vs. Raw 2011 versus The Undertaker, Christian Cena, Ray, and Chris Jericho. Uh, all of them are pretty good in my opinion. Maybe except for Cena. Wasn't the biggest fan. Uh, my favorite has to be Christian's because it's one of these stories that is better than actual WWE and I wish it actually happened. You know, Edge and Christian, Edge versus Christian at WrestleMania, all that sweet stuff. I wish it happened. I actually played this on my channel in case you want to check that out. Perfect example of a 90s crossover. Bret the Hitman Hart and Bart Simpson. I remember watching a random episode of The Simpsons and I saw Bret Hart. I popped. Jinder Mahal takes a photo with the WWE Champion. Yeah, I remember this 
Uh, Jinder Mahal retained the WWE title. Uh, the Great Khali held him, but the Great Khali held the championship as if he won the title. That was pretty hilarious. And by the way, how tall is Jinder Mahal? Oh my god. Roman Reigns has not been pinned in a match since December of 2019. The loss came at the hands of Baron Corbin. That's 502 days ago. Crazy number, crazy number, but making sure your champion looks strong is a positive. I can't imagine saying this back in like 2016, but now Roman Reigns has to be my favorite WWE superstar on the roster. He's just that damn good he finally got his own personality have you ever heard of a professional wrestler called kenny omega no yeah aw marks are some of the craziest individuals on the planet no logic whatsoever and i've seen people saying you know what kenny omega is probably just as popular as roman reigns in what planet in your room people are also comparing raw's ratings and aw's ratings and they don't realize that television ratings are not everything because you can also check youtube views and stuff and wwe are absolutely killing it oh my god so basically ryback thinks that it was rigged and people still want to see him retired i kind of feel sorry for ryback at this point he's so self-destructive this could be a meme he could be basically trolling i don't know or he's that stupid i kind of feel sorry for the guy i remember the crazy potential that he had in the wwe me actual wrestling wrestling documentaries i think i said that already but one thing that is better than professional wrestling is professional wrestling documentaries whether it's about a positive thing whether it's about a one superstar or most importantly and most entertaining actually a guilty pleasure documentaries about wrestling tragedies sue me See if I care. Very entertaining. And thank you for watching the video. That's all I have for you today. If you want to acknowledge me as your forehead of the table, the link is in description. New Reddit, post, posts, memes, whatever. It, uh, it would be really appreciated. Thank you very much.